What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the issue when your Bluestacks emulator is not properly launching or loading up on your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. In case your PC is running the minimum system requirements for Bluestacks, then you should first of all make sure that all instances of the application are closed and not running in the background. You can find the minimum system requirements listed in my extensive guide linked below. Open up your task manager. Here, sort this list of processes by their memory usage and make sure to end all processes which have the Bluestacks icon. You can in addition prevent any applications from running which could show an overlay or change your emulator files such as CCleaner, Steam, Discord or Adobe applications. In some cases, your antivirus or firewall could be blocking parts of the software while it's launching and causing the startup issues you're experiencing. In your Start menu search, type Firewall to open up your Firewall and Network Protection System Settings window. Here, select Allow an app through Firewall. On this window, click on Change Settings, which will allow you to change and locate the Bluestacks and Bluestacks web services. Make sure that both of these apps are checked. In case you're unable to find these apps, then you will have to click on Allow another app and proceed to locate your Bluestacks files in your File Explorer under Program Files, Bluestacks, HD Player. In case the problem persists, then the issue is related to outdated drivers on your PC, an unreliable network connection, or because of corrupted Bluestacks files. To update your graphics driver, I suggest using the GeForce Experience application for NVIDIA GPU users, and AMD users can make use of the AMD Radeon software. In this example, I will use the GeForce Experience application. In the Drivers tab, select to download the latest graphics driver, and it will install automatically. You should update your GPU driver every few months to get the most out of your hardware. When this is done, open up your Windows settings. Here, in the Windows Update tab, proceed to download the latest update and then restart your Windows PC in order to install the update. After restarting your PC, you can try to launch the Bluestacks player again to see if this fixed your issue. In case the problem persists, then make sure to delete your temporary files. Search for Storage in your Start menu search to open up your storage settings. After a second or two, you can preview your current storage utilization. Click on Temporary Files and here make sure that your temporary files are selected and proceed to remove these files. Your temporary files are files saved by your programs on your PC, which should be deleted from time to time and can cause startup issues for some apps if not deleted. Lastly, make sure that you're using a reliable network connection. You can make use of a speed testing site or application, such as speedtest.net. Here, preview your average upload and download speed to make sure that this problem is not related to your network connection. As a last resort, you will have to reinstall the Bluestacks emulator to your system. To do so, Open up your Windows settings. Here, under Apps, click on Installed Apps. Filter your search by all drives and look up Bluestacks. Click on the burger menu icon for Bluestacks and click on Uninstall. It will take a few seconds for the uninstaller to remove all of the Bluestacks files. Lastly, on Bluestacks.com, you can proceed to re-download the installer for your Windows PC to re-download the Bluestacks files. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.